Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 65 of Ocean Block. And today we are going to open our portal to Alpine. We're ready. <laughs> uh, so let's get it done. Uh, yeah, I don't want to fly over there, so we're going to teleport. Um, this has been going. I filled this chest up several times. This is like a coal chewer upper. <laughs> it's been going through coal like crazy. Um, very, very quickly. I guess I could put blocks in there and that would slow it down. Um, well, sort of. It still use the same amount, just use it in blocks instead of glass longer. Um, I also have on me everything needed to upgrade uh, 20 fusion injectors to uh, whip from wyvern to draconic. I just, I ran out of draconium. Oh my gosh! So I need seven more wyvern cores and it's the draconium that's holding me up. So hopefully while we're out here doing the portal thing, uh, the system's in there uh, generating some draconium and maybe we'll have enough to, to get that done. <laughs> um, but I scavenged up enough mana to fill up both of those and uh, made up, prepared some of this stuff to go through the portal. So let's grab all of that stuff out. Um, we'll also need the book. The book. And let's get like that out. So all we gotta do is tap this with the wand. I just transferred the mana with my ring. Uh, that had built up quite a bit and I filled up the ring and transported it over here like that. Because uh, I don't know if um, a spark would work on top of that, but I know the pylon has to be directly over the mana pool. So, I don't know. Let's tap it and see how much mana it takes. Uh, oh! I saw it go down like, a, what is like a third of the bubble? Cool. So let's first throw our book in there. There we go. New chapters unlocked. Uh, so let's kind of throw this in there. Elementium ingots. Uh, it would probably be faster to throw it in there by the block, but I didn't, I didn't think of that. I thought it would just spit it back out at me instantly, instead of taking a little bit of time. So there's our Elementium. I got uh, four stacks of living wood to go in there. <laughs> yeah, at least it's a pleasing plop plop sound. <laughs> it's always a good sound when stuff is getting added to your inventory. Like, oh, I wonder what sound they would make if it were to take it away. It would go wah wah wah. <laughs> That would be kind of funny. Boop. And then I got a stack of mana diamonds, a stack of mana pearls, a couple of stacks of nether quartz, and some mana glass just to uh, just in case. I don't know. That should give us plenty of stuff. If we need to open it, it again, then that's fine. There we 
go. Some mana pearls. Hopefully our system has got plenty of uh, draconium in there. Get some elven quartz. I don't know what we uh, would need this for. Um, I don't really remember it in very many recipes. But I never, I never uh, got far into Batania. I think that maybe once or twice. There we go. The last stuff is turning the mana glass into off glass. stuff and things from the portal to Alfheim. There we go. And we can leave that in here uh, and run over here and check on our draconium. Oh, that's, it's making the wyvern cores. Oh, it doesn't have any at all. Eighty-five draconium is missing. Oh, oh no! <laughs> that is no good. Oh, I did make the tear steel seed in between episodes, and I got it planted. So mystical yellow petals. We already had those. Okay, we got our book from the Alpine, so we can put that away. Um, oh, I also like to show you. Um, I got the fourth plant going. I decided to put, um, this, the Inferium crop, because we need the Inferium. We've been building it up, uh, but I need Supremium Coal for a Singularity. And, um, let's see. Premium Coal Singularity. It's this stuff. Oh, it takes two for one coal. That's 3,000 uh, Supremium. Goodness. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I plan on it if I need to uh, plant any more things in the, the botany pots, I can um, come out here and uh, replace the uh, inferior crops out here. Oh, that was this sea pickles sound. Uh, I can replace these uh, Inferium crops because I have uh, four, eight, nine, ten. Uh, eleven, twelve. I think that's no, that's terra still. Eleven, eleven inferium essence. So no, twelve, thirteen. Uh, so yeah, I got plenty of inferium out here now. I think that's why. Um, I've been getting it built up. 
check it out. 65 Insanium. <laughs> I know that's not, it's not a whole lot of Supremium. Uh, it's just four stacks, so we still need a whole lot more. Uh, but that's the most I've ever had. <laughs> 65. Um, let's see. Still hasn't gotten any made. Uh, yeah, I got plenty of Awakened Draconium left over, uh, but I used up all of Draconium. Um, the only thing I know to do is... Uh, oh, there goes a little shipment, but it's probably going to make some Draconium cords first. Maybe, I don't know. Should make something that has four draconium. No, I guess not. Okay. Um, so here's the Terra Steel seeds I planted them. Um, I just pulled up a Inferium seed, an advanced cell. Okay, um, so I got that going and I hooked up both of the reactors, got the uh, exporters hooked up to them, got the auto mode turned on. Um, last episode we gave it the 141 million FE bank uh, so it can store up a little bit of energy for us um, and I also where's my where's my draconic evolution I also went in here and laid down I made the nitro cables and gates one for each section uh, to sort of map out where I need to put the 20, um, the 20 extra injectors. Uh, so I'll put like one here, six on this side, six on that side, and then seven over here. I have to put it in a new shape. Um, and then it should be ready. It's got nitro cable, so that uh, transports, it's not going to say, I don't have one in my inventory. Because um, I used the exact amount that I made, it was like 36. So, uh, but I have the blazing ones in here that I took up. Yeah. Um, I moved my spawn point over to here because I'm not sure if it was right there or not. I just don't want to come in and <laughs> be inside a block or die or something like that over and over. I don't know. But it was easy to reset the spawn point. Um, I guess maybe we could help Help it along. By coming down here. There's my draconium. We can just uh Oh it only it only helped that one. Now it cycled over, it's not helping it anymore. That's no good. That's that's cheaty. <laughs> Why would it not do that? I 
guess it was uh, draining the power. Yeah, it drained the power out. But that's cool. Um, I was going to do it again, but. I get it right after it ticks and then I give it a good one two ah, I gave it three that's trucking right along suck the power down Definitely is the power holding it back, I think. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, we have to wait. Oh, I guess I could start making them. Uh, we can make 13 of them. So that'll take a while. And I put these on stack mode so that I can put like a whole stack of items in there. at once and then put in all of these and then hit craft and it's going pretty fast because those are draconium uh, so <laughs> it's gonna be a hot minute uh, but yeah just sit here and upgrade these um, run out of stuff. Uh, I might just have to wait in between episodes to get those last seven. Um, just let the, the draconium build up. Um, wow, we still need so much Inferium. Um, I wonder what the chaotic um, stuff takes. It's got to be crazy if it takes more than like awakened draconium. Like, <laughs> I haven't really uh, delved deeply into draconic evolution before. This is honestly the farthest I've gone uh, with draconic evolution. I do like the little breastplate with the shield. That's kind of nice. Um, I went into the nether again looking for stuff. Um, was not successful in my attempt to uh, Get that trinket. Boy, it is being very elusive this time.
Um, I guess we could plan to make up the different rooms in Britannia. Um, that should take some doing. Gathering up all the, the materials and such. To get the rooms done and we could plan. Um, I probably will build another little island for um, the the summoning of Gaia. Just so I could have a obstruction free zone. I guess I could do it on the water. <laughs> I don't know, would that uh, would they even summon on water? I don't know. But I'll probably build an island. Okay, there we go. Now we're we're needing our seven wyvern cores. Uh, but we can kind of place these around. Uh, like this one, I only want one in the middle, right there. Uh, this one I want uh, eight on this side. There we go. And then eight on this side. And then the, that side gets seven. So the last seven go here, and then we should be ready for um, ready for the singularity, uh, the ultimate singularity combine. <laughs> um, I think it takes um, a lot of energy. I'm not certain. 32 million? Well, I can store more than that in my little uh, bank, so that shouldn't be a problem. We've got the two reactors uh, hooked up to it, so yeah. I think we're, we're ready to start putting some of these pieces together, uh, and I believe the ultimate goal is to uh, create an ultimate singularity uh, and then you once you can do that and make this crafting table we can make the crafting table um, and you can make all of these uh, creative doodads in the crafting table using uh, the ultimate singularities and lots of other stuff like um, this is a mechanism one <sighs> oh you have to have a chaotic tier for this and takes four ultimate bins and four creative essence. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it takes four ultimate singularities per creative essence. So you need 16 ultimate uh, singularities for this and like um, one seed of each. Randonite seed. See, I'll I'll have to go through and and make these seeds and get them producing so that we have extra. Because you need four of those, so you need four at least of all these different seeds. Um, that's a lot. Well, I mean, if you if all you have is one seed, you'll eventually get more, but. Those power pots, man, those produce seeds like crazy. Yeah. 
so yeah, let's go check on it. It's got one, one wyvern core. I wish I could turn the awakened draconium back into to draconium. That would be sound like something you could do in a jar, because. Um, do that with other things. No. Get awakened draconium dust. Pity. I guess I'll have to wait. So, um, I made a basic crafting table. We need to make another one. Let's try to get that crafting table real quick. all of those recipes. Um, we can use it to make the elite. And then we use the elite to make the ultimate. So, let's just go craft ultimate start. I'm missing luminescence. This holds its inventory. Wow, that's a lot of slots. Now, I wonder if you can um, put recipes in the grid. Doesn't look like it. So you have to place each item separately. That's going to be a pain. <laughs> Can't just have the items in your inventory. 
point them in and then get the rest. Awesome. Um, well, that's it. <laughs> that's the the ultimate crafting grid. Uh, let's check on our wyvern cores. We've gotten two more. It's almost there. Uh, so I, I will finish these up in between episodes, uh, making all of these, the rest of them. Um, like I said, I'm going to put seven right here. And then we'll have the 30 that are needed. Yep. And um, I will try to prepare some things to knock out those different runes, uh, the rune quest in Botania, and think about where I would want to put a new island. Uh, somewhere kind of. Oh boy, uh, so we're kind of near, I guess. Oh, the rain is so loud. See, it's not as loud in here. I think that's kind of cool. <sighs> Yeah, I don't remember it being that loud, but it is when you're out there. That's kind of cool uh, that it makes you kind of want to run inside to get out of the rain. <laughs> By something simple as like uh, increasing the, the noise that it creates. That's cool. Um, how's our mana doing? Yeah, it's not draining very fast. It's just opening it uh, that takes all the the mana uh, so yeah we got tons of runes left in Britannia I'd like to knock them out but it shouldn't be too bad the, just the um, winter summer fall Spring, greed, gluttony, wrath, lust, sloth, pride, and envy. And then maybe we can knock out a Gaia spirit. I don't know. I don't know how that fight will go. Um, I am pretty, pretty stacked right now with 770 hit points. Uh, of course, I could be horrible and, and die anyway, <laughs> which would, would be sad, but uh, possible. Um, so yeah, uh, I will work on those things in between episodes, um, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!